this video is for anybody experiencing blue screens associated with the file called IOMAP64. Hi guys, today's video is not about FL Studio. This particular video is for anybody experiencing blue screens associated with the file called IOMAP64. If you're that guy or girl, stick around. So as it turns out, I just built a new system. The new system happens to be on an Asus Maximus Hero 9 board, and it's a 64-bit version of Windows 10. It's not the latest BIOS, it is the second to last BIOS. So I don't know if this problem has been resolved or what has happened, but I don't think it's a BIOS problem. That said, any advice I give you in this video, if you happen to blow up your computer with it, you own that. This is my disclaimer. I don't build computers for a living. Just remember that I warned you. Here's the blue screen that you're going to see with IOMAP64. And it could be IOMAP64.sys, like S-Y-S. And that happens to be Asus software. If you were a good computer builder, you went and installed AI Suite 3 and GPU Tweak 2 or whatever it is. That is the very software that is resulting in blue screens, in my humble opinion. Doing what I did solved the problem. The first thing I would do is take Asus AI Suite 3 and uninstall it. You probably already know how to uninstall a program. I'm not going to go through that, but also uninstall GPU Tweak. Now, this is going to remove some of your options, most likely for some of these things, but it will get rid of your crashes, or it did in my instance. By the way, I should specify the crashes I was experiencing were always at startup. When this blue Windows 10 splash screen hit, the blue screen would hit immediately after it. Maybe you have a similar problem. Here was my solution. So you're thinking at this point, you've uninstalled these programs and you're good to go. And then you start up your computer the next time, or maybe not the next time because the crashes are inconsistent. Maybe it's a couple times later. Sure enough, it'll crash again. And believe it or not, the file you thought you removed through the uninstalls didn't remove everything. So watch this. Hit your Windows key on your keyboard. It's the start menu. Go to your C drive or whatever drive happens to be your main drive. If you look in program files in the 32 bit times 86. So once again, this is your C drive or whatever drive is your main drive. Program files by 86 times 86, 32 bit files. Then you're going to go to ASUS. In all of these folders, you might find IOMAP64, which is kind of annoying. So what I would do is I would go into this little search bar and I'd search for it and then rename the files. We're actually not going to find any of those. I actually deleted them and I think I renamed a couple. But you have to go through all of these folders and delete it or rename it to something like put your name on it. Just so you know, if you think you needed it again, you could remove your name from it. And once you've done that, go back to program files, the 64-bit ones, Asus Tech. I'm not sure if you're going to find the IOMAP64 in here, but you might go delete it. Delete it everywhere you see it. And lastly, go to your Windows System 32. Go up here and search for IOMAP64. I could search for it, but I'm not going to find it because I renamed it. Yeah, I renamed them something that I don't remember, but I got rid of the file. Now, did it destroy my system? No. Is it a crucial Windows file? No. Once I got rid of those files, my crashes stopped. Any of you who are building systems, I hope that helps. Remember, just do everything with caution, back up your system. That said, it helped me. And if you're really frustrated because you built a new system and you're thinking, awesome, this thing's going to rock and then it totally sucks because it's crashing, maybe this will help you as a last ditch effort before you do something and really explode your computer. So I hope that helped. Good luck.